Hello crazy fam, welcome back to another vlog. I had to start it now because I just filmed a video with makeup on so I don't look like trash and I appreciate starting my videos when I don't look like trash. But before we get into this vlog, please, please, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already. We are growing a lot on my main channel but I'm hoping to grow the vlog channel too because I really enjoy doing these videos. I'm in the elevator with really weird lighting but I have a really cute outfit on that I will show you guys later. But I am off to the dentist probably a little bit later than I should be, but still ahead of time because they never sent me my paperwork, so I have to like, like to fill out, so I have to fill it out there. So let's go to the dentist and see what they have to say about my teeth. Okay, I am here at the dentist. I have my bag just in case I have to wait. I brought my laptop, but I love this dress. It's my first time getting to actually wear it. So let's go in and see how long the wait is for this dentist. Now I have a little secret <laughs> now I have a little secret to say before I actually go to the dentist. About 18 years of my life I never really like brushed my teeth or took care of my mouth or teeth at all. And obviously since I've been an adult I have been, but I'm worried of the damage that not brushing my teeth for that long cause. But I'm not gonna say anything, we'll just see what they have to say and see if there's any problems. They have these giant elevators, so I'll show you my outfit quickly. So this is the dress I'm wearing. I love it. I just decided to wear sandals instead of heels because I was just going to the dentist. But I think the outfit is really cute. I am back from the dentist and everything is A-OK -okay with these teeth. Kind of surprised that nothing was wrong. But either way, I'm happy that everything is good. The only thing they mentioned was like my second to the back like tooth that it looks like a cavity started, but then it stopped. Like it's starting to heal itself. So I should just keep an eye out just in case it turns into a cavity. But other than that, I am all good. I have no cavities. Everything is good. They did reconfirm what I know about the space in between my teeth. So if you were ever wondering about my space between my teeth or why I have not close the space it's not as simple as other people's space between their teeth so normally you can just get braces and you can push that space together but for me it is a little bit different so instead of being gum between here like normally you have gum between your two front teeth and if you have space it's usually just gum the thing is for me it didn't grow the same above here and so there's muscle there instead of just gum and it's overdeveloped and so basically if I want to push that space together no matter how good the braces are they could push that space together but the space will reopen it will literally the muscle will push it back open so if I want to get the space removed I actually have to get surgery done to get something done with this muscle basically to get it like moved and p potentially broken and it's a lot of work and it is actually surgery and then still having to get braces or Invisalign and it doesn't seem worth the effort of doing it and the expense of doing all that just to remove a space that I don't really notice as other people do. So I am definitely going to keep my space for a while longer. I don't want to have surgery, okay? I don't. Like, that's not worth it to me. <laughs> and it was funny because a lot of people don't know about like that. It's not common at all. Most people can just get braces and have it pushed together. Most people do not have a muscle between here that makes it so they can't push it together. So a lot of people, when I tell them that, they're like, what? You'd have to get surgery? No, just get braces. And I'm like, it's not that simple. <laughs> but either way, everything was good with the dentist. I am all good. I got fluoride. I got cleaning. I have my x-rays. I have no cavities, no nothing. And if you were ever wondering, so yes, I admitted before that I went many years without brushing my teeth on a consistent basis. I would brush them maybe like once a month. When I was younger, I just went through a phase of like really bad depression and not taking care of my teeth or mouth or any part of my body. And I've definitely gotten better with it. But if you're ever wondering how my teeth have stayed this good, even with all that going on, I have what is called, what is it called? Frick, I'm totally blanking. I have sealant on my teeth. So when I was younger, my mom decided to get sealant on my teeth. I think that's how you say it. And it basically has protected my teeth and all of my mouth for a very long time. It is something that is covered under my insurance and a lot of insurances. So you should definitely look into if your insurance will cover it or doing it for your kids because the sealant has literally saved my teeth from years of not treating them well. And even if you do treat them well, it's an extra protectant that not a lot of people know about and not a lot of 
dentists like offer it or talk about it. I don't know too much about it. I'm not a doctor or anything, but at least you should look into it because I don't have any problems right now. And I went with many years without brushing. Morning, crazy fam. I know I just went to a doctor, but I'm gonna go to another doctor today because I kind of decided this was my doctor week. So I was gonna get all my doctor's appointments done and over with because I've been a little bit behind. Like the dentist was the worst one. That one I haven't been to in years. But I'm also gonna go today to get my physical because I just haven't done that in a little while. It's not been that long, but I figured I would still go today. And then tomorrow I have my derm dermatologist appointment so just get it all done and over with but I am running a little bit late this morning so I am going to talk to you guys when I get back from the doctors I just got back from the doctors and the grocery store because I decided to go there afterwards just because it was easy and convenient and I figured I would unload everything haul it all for you and kind of tell you my funny experience of how my physical turned into a pap smear and so much more so we'll get into the funny story time let me just place you somewhere so I can haul this all for you so I got you all set up on a shoe and I realized it's gonna be a little bit hard to tell the story at the same time as haul stuff so I will just let you know that I went to the doctors just to get a physical because I basically Basically, just I am underneath my parents insurance and I'm that's not gonna last forever and I figured I would just take advantage of it because every year every two years every six months or something I get a physical where I don't even have to pay for my copay so it's completely free to go so I figured might as well do it so I made an appointment I went and it turned to something a little bit different which we'll get into after I haul all of this for you so I got some tomatoes, I got some green beans. The tomatoes are gonna to be great because I also bought ground beef and I like cutting up tomatoes into ground beef. I think I might do a taco night tonight. And then I caved and got myself a treat item and I got the, whatchamacallit, Cheesecake Factory, the brown bread. And I didn't realize they actually make them in loaves too, not just the little ones. So I decided to get the loaves because I thought it'd be something different to try. And then I also got some green beans instead of snow peas. And then I got two onions to cut in with all everything. I got some more butter because we were almost out. I got some pasta, even though I'm trying to cut back on the amount of like pasta I'm having. I still want to have some every so often. And then I got a big honking thing of ground beef to make tacos with, hopefully tonight. Then I got a giant thing of barbecue because it was so much cheaper than getting the smaller ones. I got, oh, when I get here, oh, stuff is like shoved in this bag real tight. I got some cheese just to stock up. This is just the Mexican style blend, which I never understand why it's called the Mexican style blend, but that aside, that is my favorite one. I got this sour cream thing right here, and I wouldn't normally spend so much extra get it in this thingy compared to a tub, especially since it's like a main brand instead of an off brand. But my roommate got it and had it in the apartment and I realized it keeps so much longer than the other sour cream. Like the other sour cream, I wouldn't even finish it before it would go bad. And this has been in our fridge for an insane amount of time and it's perfectly fine and good. It's also convenient. So I figured pay a little bit more money for it to last longer, it's worth it. Same thing with almond milk. I buy almond milk over regular milk because it lasts so much longer than regular milk. Then I also got shredded carrots. And then I got shredded carrots because, even though I still think I have a little bit in the fridge, I got it because I got um, salad mix, and I like to put salad mix with the shredded sh eh, with the shredded carrots in it, and like cut up tomatoes and random other stuff. And then what else did I get here? Oh, there's a few more things. I got some French fries, and then I got two more sauce things. So what I got was I got some more of my. Um, salsa brava hot sauce stuff. I don't know how you really say it, but it looks like this I don't consider it hot even though it says it's hot I don't really think it's hot at all and then I just got some more cheap Worcester sauce. Oh, I meant to get burgers Well, that's okay because I still need to get propane So I can't even really cook burgers and I have a few left in my freezer anyway But that is everything that I got from Ralph's I forgot my coupon But I will go back next time with my coupon for ten dollars off but, um, so point is, as I was at the doctor, he kind of was like, what are you here for? And I'm like, a oh, physical, whatever that entails. <laughs> he was kind of like pushing, like thinking I wanted for something specific. But I'm like, no, what, whatever physical is for. Like, I don't know, do you do like blood work? Do you do the little hammer thingy on my knee or something? I'm not really sure what that entails. I've had it before, but usually I go because I have a problem and I just happen to get my physical at the same time. And then, so he's like, okay, sure, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, what about a pap smear? Like, do you plan on getting one soon? That type of question. And I'm like, well, yeah, I just haven't like made an appointment. Do you guys do them here? And he's like, yeah, do you want to do it today at the same time as your physical? And I'm like, 
oh, I wasn't really ready for that, but like, I guess, like, I'll do it. And then I'm like, oh, you have someone here that does it. And he's like, me. And I'm like, oh, I wasn't per se expecting that. I know male doctors do pap smears. But I wasn't expecting to walk in that day and have a pap smear done by a male doctor. So that was a little, um, just, I'll just say the best word to say is unexpected. But that's not the most like unexpected part though that was a little bit funny because I'm basically like, oh, you have someone here that does it? And he's like, me. Then I'm like, oh, well, awkward. <laughs> So that's not like the funniest part, but like another funnier part was basically I have like heart things that happen every so often and the last time it happened I got an EKG and it all came back normal But I was like, do you think I should go to a cardiologist just to check up what's going on? Because my heart stuff doesn't happen on a regular basis So I can't per se wear a monitor like they usually do and he's like well It's not like per se priority because your EKG came back fine and blah, blah blah but he's like have you ever passed out before and I'm like yes that is the reason why I went in the last time and got that EKG done because I did pass out and then he's like well then I definitely recommend like referring you to a cardiologist blah 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 but he's like explain to me like what happened and this is where it got a little bit awkward and for some back knowledge or some partial knowledge of the situation he this doctor wasn't my type at all but he definitely was attractive and so one an attractive doctor doing my pap smear and saying like you want to get your pap smear done by me and then in addition to having to tell this story right here so I was like so he asked me about the episode where I passed out and I was like well I was peeing and he's like you were peeing and I'm like, oh God, why did I just tell this hot doctor that I was peeing when I passed out? <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, I was peeing. And then it, like the, the heart episode happened and I was kind of just sitting there like, you know, relax, making sure that I'm good. And then I woke up on the floor. And I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, this dog is like, one, he's like, you were peeing. He was so surprised in the first place and now that I was thinking about it later I'm like, oh my god I'm so embarrassed that I was telling this doctor this hot doctor that I was peeing and I passed out And so that's awkward enough, but then I'm thinking I'm like most people don't like pass out on the floor if they're on like the toilet <laughs> And I'm like I wasn't standing and peeing like I promised I was sitting and peeing But I like put my head down because of the episode that was happening and that's how I kind of like fell over completely Because normally if you just pass it you pass out like this And so now I'm thinking like one this doctor think it's weird enough that I was peeing when I was having a heart episode thing And then in addition to that he's like I'm like is this guy wondering if I pee standing up because I'm like I promise I don't But all these things that he probably didn't think about at all But I can still remember his voice being like you were peeing <laughs> it was just so so funny then obviously like I haven't had my pop smear well not obviously definitely you can get your pop smear done earlier but I just haven't done my pop smear earlier so I decided obviously that I was gonna do it but I haven't done this before I've got an IUD so I've had people down in there and I've had my legs up in the bur bur sur syrups syrups I forgot what those things are called basically you put your feet all the way up in those little thingies and you're full out showing your vagina and so I've done it before but it was one a female doctor and it wasn't a pap smear and I was also prepared for it and it was gonna happen and so it was just weird because he's like okay scoop forward scoop forward and he's like have you had a pap smear for him and I'm like no and he's like okay well basically you're going to lay down sit on the edge and then scoop more and more and more and more for it and I'm just like oh my god why does this hot doctor have to see my vagina when I'm not prepared for it <laughs> and also I'm just not used to a male doctor doing that but either way it was just so funny and he was definitely cute not at all my type but you know like still cute but that is my whole doctor story. I just thought it was kind of funny because I wasn't expecting to walk in for a physical and end up having all that happen. <laughs> oh gosh. Why do I have to be socially awkward at some times? Why did I have to tell the male doctor I was peeing? I could have just been like, yeah, I passed out when I was having an episode. No, no, I had to tell him all the details. Either way, I'm gonna put all of this stuff in the fridge and then hopefully make some tacos tonight because I am hungry and tacos sound delicious.
I have a feeling I'm gonna forget to end the vlog later, so I'm gonna end it in this clip in the morning where I'm still in bed and say I appreciate you guys all for watching. I will see you again on Monday with a new vlog, and if you're interested, I do have a main channel that I will link down below where I post videos every Wednesday on helping you figure out adulting. It's entertaining and weird and funny and informative. And if you want to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you crazy fam. I'll see you Monday.